All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we will be reviewing Gunslinger Spawn number one. Uh, I want to review one through three, uh, just specifically for the channel. Uh, I do have four and five up, uh, but I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna reread the first three issues, and then I'm gonna review them and we'll start a playlist, blah, blah, blah. You, you know, you know. Anyways, uh, obviously I can't do a review where I gotta predict, predict what happens afterwards because the issues are already out, but here we go. So this is by Todd McFarlane and Brett Booth. So with some backstories because they've been doing that with the issue ones, but uh, so, you know, this is prior or after what happens in Spawn's universe where he gets pulled into current times, you know, he's from the 1800s, the 19th century. But yeah, so he comes back and he has a motorcycle and he's mad because it's not working. Um, we got this guy who's at work and his friends come in and it's just like bribing him to come out and drink. And they do that. And he see Keon Gunslinger still <laughs> pushing his motorcycle because he, think, he thinks it's broken. He's like, the horse would have done this. Well, his friends are out drinking and um, he goes inside and, his little, and he sees the motorcycle. He's like, the motorcycle of my dreams. Gunslinger's like, the double barrel shotgun of your dreams. And it's about to unload on him. He's like asking questions if he knows anything about the uh, quote-unquote contraption there. The guy looks at it and he's, he, he's like, dude, you're just out of gas. And Gunslinger's like, what? <laughs> Gets up and starts harassing him about that because he doesn't know what gas is. Then we got the... Uh, enemies here the angels and of course brett booth has this massive thing for dinosaurs he just wants to draw dinosaurs just give him a jurassic park comic book he'll be pleased anyway so um we got these angels and other guys here and they are planning to take down gunslinger obviously they're talking about how cog's plan failed to you know get gunslinger to work with his side so <laughs> we cut back to gunslinger and the kid and the kid's like, do you not, do you not know anything? Are you just a boomer? Do you not know what Google is? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I don't feel too far. Um, he's like, this is how I survived. And he pulls out his weapons and he's like, always have a weapon. And he pulls out a knife from under his freaking tall hat. It's just crazy. And then he gets attacked by an angel on this page. And uh, he takes, he, he did quick work with the angel. And he even tries to like teach Taylor, the kid, how to kill him and he's like after you kill him blah 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 blah. they just kind of disintegrate takes them back uh they start going back to their house and uh, the angel's talking to his father because his father never wants him to come home until he tells him to and obviously it's because the angel's here so the angels are now going to kill him and gunslinger saves him right at the end of the issue and that's the end of issue one but we do have the back issue or the back stories that are here they go on here uh this woman's worried about a kid. She hasn't seen them. They've been missing for days. So Gunslinger goes out to search for them. Turns out they've all been hung. So he tracks down the uh, the guy who did it because he runs this little band. And he drags him. He killed all of his guards. And he drags them all the way back to this tree where he has hung all of his kids. And it's telling like, this is how that woman felt when you did this to her kids when she finds out. And that's the end of that backstory. We got this one where he's fighting this angel. And this, this story is interesting because it explains how Gunslinger does his power. So Gunslinger is the weakest of all Hellspawn so that we know of. And he dips his bullets and all that into his own blood. Because that's the only way he can kill the angels. And it's, you know, it's reducing his powers. Because all Spawn have a certain amount of power before they get sent back to Hell. And that's how he's doing it. Is that, That's how he's using his power. And... That's the end of that backstory. Then we get this one. And in this part, we have this really racist dirtbag over here talking crap about the kid here who's a, who's half-breed. I guess he's, like, half-Mexican or something. I, this takes place during, like, right after the American-Mexican War. And uh, he, so he's being extremely racist. And it's telling the kid if he doesn't get his drink without spilling it, he's going to take his arms. And then a knife swoops in and cuts off most of his ear. And Gunslinger is obviously the one that threw it. And yeah, he uh, got challenges Gunslinger to a duel. <laughs> he instantly loses, gets three bullet holes right in the chest. And then Gunslinger interrogates him looking for his boss, gets the information he needs. And then he uh, gives the uh, kid his knife and he goes on his way and tells everybody to have a good day. Merry Christmas. 
obviously he recognizes the symbol that's the symbol for his enemies and he goes off and then that is the actual end of the issue and then we get a uh breakdown <clears throat> and then you know obviously the scorch number one on sale in december which didn't happen it came out in january but yeah that's the end of issue one uh honestly it's a great start of an issue my final review for it would be about an eight out of ten uh brett booth is ridiculous ridiculously good in with his artwork and then todd mcfarland i just feel like he's improved as a writer um but yeah that's gunslinger number one uh i'm gonna review two and three and then we'll be all caught up on gunslinger and all that and anyways catch y'all later uh like and subscribe if y'all want more comic book videos and uh comment below if you have any comics you want to recommend me i know i do a lot of spawn videos he's my favorite character and I don't think that's going to change. Uh, anyways, catch y'all later.